Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you're into 3D printing, photography and drone, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. We're talking about something really exciting today. We're not reviewing filament, we're not reviewing a printer, we're reviewing a 3D scanner, which is, uh, is that upside down? No, it's okay. The back is upside down. So we're reviewing a 3D scanner, which is something that every 3D maker uh, should have. It was impossible up to a couple of months ago. They were so expensive. They were over 2000 euros minimum But Revel Point Pop Scanner comes at a price of like 500 600 euros, which makes it affordable for Many more people than before so Revel Point reached out to me and they were so kind to send me a unit to review and I was really excited to do that because for the first time I actually have a working 3D scanner and I managed to make great prints out of it. Let's roll the intro first and let's get back to it. Before getting into the review, I would like to tell you about a collaboration I have ongoing with this really good friend of mine. His name is Giuseppe. He runs an Instagram page. It's called 3D Print All. He talks about printers, he reviews filaments, he reviews apparel that's uh, destined to 3D printing. He uh, talks about application of electronics to 3D printing and it's a great place to go and boost your creativity. All the links to Giuseppe's page will be down in the description. Go pay Giuseppe a visit, he really deserves it and you will love it. Unboxing here was pretty satisfaction. You see rubber at the beginning. Then we, we find some uh, points with a USB card inside and gloves. Some instruction manual. I was a little bit surprised when I found this. This is a small statue. I think it's made out of resin and it's basically used as a tester for your scanner as a first print. Then there's a phone holder because Rebel Scanner can be used outside. You can connect it to your phone and use it. Black pair of gloves, which is very handy when you have to move uh, your prints without getting any in the scan and the actual scanner. On the bottom, we can find the rotating plate. Rotating plate that comes with a uh, electricity plug, so that makes it easy, you don't have to change batteries and stuff like that. Let's actually open the scanner, nice and sealed. Really great and premium experience. Unboxing it. Ooh, here it comes. Okay, some other certification on the top. I can see very cute tripod. And here is a scanner. Let's see how it looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. Nice three cameras, really, really nice. And USB-C cables, that's good. As you can see, I've printed out this in TPU. This is a great model from Giuseppe from 3D Print All. It will be linked down in the description. I printed it out in TPU, which makes a really nice bumper for your scanner. Anyway, let's get back to the scanner. How does it work? It works with the software called HandyScan. I'm using it on a Mac, so the hard part was to give it Wi-Fi, I had to hook it up to a PC, give 
the Wi-Fi of my house and then from every Mac in the house you could see the scanner and actually use it basically it works the same way if you're using an Android phone and you go outside and you want to you know scan something on the outdoor how is the software the software is pretty basic as you can see it has your um, tracking uh, camera in the center on the left you see your exposure and what's actually picking up the camera and on the bottom left that's what's most most important of the um, of the scanner that's the sensor that uh, decides what points should be made on the scanning part so that's something that needs to be adjusted you can set it manually and uh, uh, there is some various option you can play with. So basically software does its work. You don't need a very, very powerful computer. I used it on my Teclast, which is a very, very old PC, very low quality PC, and it actually worked as well. I'm using it right now on the Mac, I found it more comfortable. I can also, you know, acquire all the videos that I'm showing you here. And uh, so basic software, uh, not many information needed so pretty straightforward for somebody who's the first time uh, as a first time user I started playing around and of course I wanted to test this this is a resin statue I wanted to see what level of details we could accomplish and I wanted to print this out so as you can see I scanned it I transformed it in an STL. I had some problem on the base, so on the slicer program on Cura, I had to send it like a little bit further down on the Z so that the base was cut out perfectly. And the result is pretty impressive. This is printed in very, very low quality, very, very fast, 5% infill with my Anet ET5X and even though result is above expectations so how does it work basically scanner is standing there on the tripod and uh, you put your object on this rotating rotating plate which is basically has lots of like you know uh, waypoints that help the scanner scanning the object you also get this black uh, you know cloth that you can put in the back so it doesn't pick up anything else from the environment and you basically do this if you're okay with your scanning on the horizontal you can pose your scanner move it to a different orientation and the scanner will straight away pick it up and continue scanning so pretty basic usage and pretty easy of course the more points you acquire the more detail your scan will be Revopoint says that you can get up to 0.3 millimeters detail i i don't know i mean i'm a bit skeptic about that but anyway it's for what's on the market for that price that's a no-brainer not to get this so i'm really really impressed on what it does of course it's not all you know in italian you say roses and flowers but this scanner comes with uh, one i would say one main problem one main issue one of the main reason why i wanted a 3d scanner was to scan my face okay so what's wrong with my face i have beard and what color is my beard? My beard is black. And if you remember what I told you on the unboxing, in the box you find black gloves. That means that the scanner doesn't ever pick black. That means also scanning of my face, as you can see, is perfect on the skin, on the skin side, but it's practically awful and zero where the beard is. I'm sure that if I would shave everything and show my horrible chin, probably will pick it up entirely. But this is a main, you know, 
bummer of this scanner. So if you get it, you need to know that it will not scan black objects by any chance. So as I mentioned, it's a portable scanner. That means you can hook it up to an Android phone, go outside and scan whatever. I'm gonna bring it to Greece. I'm leaving next week. I'm gonna be out for a couple of days with the family and I'm gonna try to scan something on the outside. So I'm gonna do an update video on this. In the meantime, here at home, I scanned really, really fun stuff. I had printed out this model of Homer Simpson on a donut, which was pretty full of details. And as you can see, it picked it up really, really nice. It's, uh, it picked up a lot of details and uh, of course it's white and uh, uh, white is the perfect surface if you want to scan something with a high detail. Even though I managed to scan and I'm actually printing it here on my Sidewinder X1, something that I, I bought uh, on one of my last trip with my wife, which is this. This is a very heavy statue of a Buddha and lots of details and you judge how I picked it up and it's scanned and I will show you how it's printed out. Point this time delivered an amazing product for the price point. I've never seen something so uh, amazing for this price. Uh, I have never tested their 2,000 or 3,000 euros uh, scanner. Probably they're better, but for five, 600 euros, this is a great product. And I would definitely suggest it, especially if you're in the 3D printing world and it's aimed that's my GoPro switching off. And especially if you're aimed to print what you actually scan, can be useful on, you know, printing spares. I'm actually working on this. This is a model I found on Thingiverse, but I, want to, I wanted to see how detailed, so that's something I'm working on, trying to tweak it, tweak the light, tweak the contrast so that I have the better details possible. And Pop Scanner is delivering what expected so i'm very impressed with the scanner and i would definitely suggest it if you want to buy a rebel scan you'll find all the links down in the description and uh, believe me guys it's something that you want to test you want to try and probably you will start using a lot because once you understand the capabilities and the fact that it's portable can be really, really nice. As mentioned, I'm leaving on a trip for a couple of days with the family, I'll be out. So I'll be seeing lots of, you know, statues and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do an update on how the mobile app actually works. And uh, I wanna, you know, talk about that uh, explicitly. That was all for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button if you did like the video, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and I'll see you when I'm back from my holidays, which will be next week. Ciao!